Today in the Makerspace, we shall be doing what? Big Data Makeover. Oh, finally a makeover. Perhaps they can do my nails yeah, as well. That's, huh. that's not the makeover we're no. talking about. Today we're going to have fun creating our own data visualization oh. using Google <laughs> Trends. Data visualization is the process of taking raw data and numbers and turning them into charts, graphs, or other visually interesting forms so we can see the data in a different way. Data everywhere. It's coming from the phones. It's coming from the computers. It's in the Internet of Things. It's completely overwhelming. Well, I think that's okay because we could use visualization tools that can help us in our everyday lives. Using visualization helps create a clear image so it's not all these numbers. It just shows the ups and downs of the subject. So it makes all of those numbers, all that data, a little more user-friendly for people who are overwhelmed <laughs> like me. First, we will discuss some data trends over time, then devise our own visualization scheme, then we will execute our plan and see what our visualization looks like. So we put in all these search terms, but what are we actually looking at? Here? Well, this is the popularity of search terms, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math that have been searched on Google on a scale of 0 to 100 over the course of a year. Okay, so the bigger the popularity and the exactly. larger the spikes. Exactly. Yes. Got it. So what there's do we got? two big dips in popularity mm. in these subjects. If you look at the time periods oh. where these big dips are, okay. it looks like it's winter break and summer break. The region is in Canada, right? Mm. And so um, a, a lot of like winter break in schools um, start in December, and then a lot of summer breaks start around um, June. June. And then it really comes back strong in September and why when is that? school starts. Ah. See, isn't this so much easier to see than all the numbers? It really is. So we've explored how search data relating to Steam has trended over time. Now here's how we plan to visualize the data. We've taped markers to the six-legged robot's legs, so when it moves, it will leave marks on the paper below him. Then we'll take a data point from our trends data in the summer dip and turn it into the number of times the robot will do a move. So let's pick the lowest point for science during the summer break. 47 out of 100. But instead of having the robot do 47 moves, let's make it a more manageable number. Let's round to 50 and then make one move for every 10 points. So we end up with five moves to represent the summer dip. Now let's choose our move. You think there's some moves in there we could do that would make a better pattern? Maybe attack would be really cool because it goes up on these four legs right. and it pounces and it moves forward each time. Oh, so you'd be able to see like how many times it attacks. You'd be like, oh, there's like four sets oh. of dots. So it'd be Holland's summer data attack. Oh, yeah. Here it goes. Oh. Oh. Two. Three. Oh, look at this. Four. Wow. Five. It's making triangles. Oh my gosh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, five. three, four, five. Why did one, that two, one do triangles? Five. That one do little dribbly drops. Because each leg is doing different patterns. Huh. One has a different job. That That's is amazing. Awesome. That was awesome. And only one of the millions of ways to visualize data. Why don't you get out there and see what you can do with your imagination? <laughs>